it's the same in terms of proselytizing, for me at least. Right. When somebody is telling me, this is a way that I feel and you should feel this way. I know you're not saying that, no. but um, but that is for me an infringement. Oh, what's up, Gideon? Ah, I'm uh, Kovacet. Or should I call you Gideon? Yeah, yeah Gideon here, yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you a question. You you have a necklace on, yeah? Yeah, that's what's right. What's on your necklace? It's a mug in the vid. Can you show me? Sure. There you go. Nice. Show the camera. <laughs> so did you grow up in a Jewish family? I did, yeah. Um, my both my parents are Jewish, and uh, I went to a Jewish school in Australia in Melbourne. Okay. Uh, but I also lived in the in the middle of the city, so not a very Jewish area. But oh. yeah. Okay. Now, did you observe any of the traditions? Sure. I, all the holidays. My uh, mom's family are all religious. They live in Sydney, so we go up there for Hanukkah and Pesach, and yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. What do you What do you think makes somebody Jewish? It's a big question. <laughs> um, I think that. Uh, Ultimately, well, there's a lot of like debate about that. I think about that a lot because yeah. I do the traditions, I do the holidays, but I don't necessarily, uh, I don't go to shul or I don't really right. do the, the sort of more religious aspects of it, but I still am very proud and will always say that I'm Jewish. So I think really, yeah. to answer your question, it's more about identity. It's more about culture and values to me, um, but all of the other things exist as well. You know? Right, yeah. I agree, I agree. Yeah. So if someone, if someone um, is born of Jewish parents, they're mm. obviously Jewish, yes? If they want to, if, yeah, if sure. Yeah. If they say they are, yeah. Let's say if they're not born of Jewish parents mm -hmm. and they observe the Jewish traditions mm -hmm. and they feel Jewish, mm -hmm. would they? Would you consider them Jewish? Again, it's it's complicated. Uh, obviously, per, me personally, you're saying, or yeah, yeah um, sure. I mean, if, if they're willing to to learn and to understand, and uh, they really feel that way, then I don't see a reason why they shouldn't be. Oh yeah, you know what? Personally. That reminds me yeah. of uh, of in the Tanakh, okay. in the Hebrew Scriptures, yeah. Ruth. Yes, she wasn't Jewish. She sure. wasn't part of the, the people of Israel, and she said, "But I want to. I want your God to be my God." Right. And she, you know, basically came into oh, the yeah. to the Jewish people, which yeah, is yeah. pretty cool. But today they would call that conversion and then you right. have to go through a process of course yeah you know back then it was enough to and and it doesn't show this in the Tanakh mm. that there was a conversion process mm. so the, the religious Jews which I respect highly might say that that she had to go through a, a right, conversion process course. which is what you would have to do today to become Jewish if mm -hmm. you're if you're not mm -hmm. so if somebody believed in uh, the Buddha or something mm. followed Buddha of course and, and of they worship the Buddha and they and and they, 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 they grew up with Jewish parents mm. in a Jewish family would you consider them Jewish still <laughs> Again, like you're asking me questions, I feel like for me personally, yeah, of course. If somebody feels like within their soul, within their heart, that they feel a certain way and that they want to be a certain way, I don't see why, you know, people, whether it be government bodies, whether it be uh, other people around you, should right. stop somebody from feeling that way, you know? Right, right, yeah. I agree. So basically live and, and let live. I would say so. Most people usually when they come to that, they say, well, as long as you're not hurting anybody else. That's true too, right. but yeah. So, so we live and let live until it infringes upon our own freedom mm -hmm. or physical safety. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then we inter intervene. Right. Um, so I am I'm a Jewish guy. Okay. I grew up in a Jewish family, bar yeah, mitzvah, yeah, yeah. wrapped to fill in, went to Jewish summer camp, did sure. the whole thing sure. in, in the States. And um, I actually came to faith in Jesus. Okay. And it was an experience that was very odd because growing up in a Jewish family, we mm -hmm. don't have a background about Jesus. We mm -hmm. just hear about it on the outside, on the periphery. Uh -huh. And then a lot of us Jewish people that believe in Jesus mm. have an experience mm. with God mm. that is directly related to the person of Jesus who came to earth basically as God in the flesh. Right. And, and then as upon digging and discovering and researching, mm. we realized that, wait a second, this isn't just a feelings-based uh, faith. Mm. This is actually backed up by scripture. Mm. And so when I came to faith as a Jew, it was very weird because I feel like I've been changed on the inside okay. through no effort of my own. Okay. Because, you know, I don't know, you know, people do meditation and yoga and all that sure, stuff because they want to become course. a better person. I mean, right, I, right, right. I work out and I eat healthy mm -hmm. because I want to be a better version, mm -hmm. but I know my limitations. Yes. And there's things that, that, that my experience with Jesus mm. did for me that changed me into a person that I couldn't change myself into. So okay. I said, okay, this is a miracle mm. and supernatural. Mm. I was suicidal, depressed, anxious, fearful, okay. and I couldn't get myself out of it. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, take my life, I wanna die. And then all of a sudden yeah. Jesus shows up and completely makes me into a new human being full of life and mm. full of joy, which is why I come out on the streets and talk about him. Sure. I can I speak yeah, to that? Yeah, of course, please. So I suppose before you talk to, uh, to the idea of uh, 
it's all fine of, of believing in something until it like infringes upon something or right. until something. So I suppose I would take that and then sort of juxtapose that to this idea of it's the same in terms of proselytizing, for me at least. Right. When somebody is telling me this is a way that I feel and you should feel this way. I know you're not saying that, nope. but um, but that is for me an infringement as right. well, yeah. right? In that regard. Right. Um, so I suppose I have a lot of questions about that. Yeah. And I'm so glad that that was able to work for you and that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that somebody should come in and violate your rights to believe that certain way. I don't yeah. think anybody should say that because yeah. that's harmful. Yeah, and I don't have a problem with somebody with. disagreeing with me. Of course, you know of course. I mean? and, and, hey. I, and I would say that I probably do. Yeah. But that's... And you can. Absolutely, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, that's amazing. Can I ask more about how uh, you came to that, that understanding? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I came to an all-time low, which mm. most people would say, when most people do say to me, yeah. well, you know, because you were in this horrible place, you mm. reached out anything you could grab to make yourself feel better. Mm. That's what you grabbed onto. Mm. But it was it was not like that. Okay. I, I wasn't thinking about Jesus. I wasn't mm. considering him at all. I was mm. just thinking, okay, I've worked 20 years to try to become a better version, meditation, mm. all these things. And I and, and I feel like I'm in the darkest place of my life. Mm. I'm sorry to hear and that. I have nothing to pass down to my children. Right. And so religion, I couldn't, I didn't feel like religion could help me. Mm. I didn't feel like my meditation could help me anymore. Mm. My family couldn't even help me anymore. Right. And so when I came to this low place, I, I put my hands up and I said, take me. Mm. I don't want to live anymore. Okay. And then for, a, for about 45 days, I started having experiences that were related to Jesus. Okay. You know how they, you have coincidences? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and something happens, you're like, well, that's kind of odd. Yeah. I was just thinking about that. Sure. Well, imagine that happening a few times a day, mm. every day mm. for about a month and a half. Yeah, that would... And all of those experiences were related to Jesus. Okay. And I was like, what is happening here? And not only mm. to me, it was happening to my wife and my older son simultaneously, wow. separately. Okay. So we would come home and talk about our experiences that, uh, with, with Jesus. And we were mm. like, this is strange. Mm. Why would this be happening to us? And why do I feel like I'm actually coming back mm. to life? Sure. In, in the book of uh, John, okay. in the Bible, yeah, yeah. John 14, 6, it says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm. And nobody comes to the Father but through me. Okay. Okay, it's a very exclusive claim, mm. but it made sense to me because I, I felt like I'd found the truth. Mm. I, I, I was coming back to life, being filled up from the, from the, from almost from the outside in, even though the, the Bible says that God puts his, his spirit in you yeah, yeah, yeah. to give you life. Sure. And uh, I, all of a sudden I felt like I had purpose, like I had a way. Mm. And I thought, okay, this is strange. I know, I, feel, I have a feeling I'm going to be rejected for this faith because it's not typically accepted by the Jewish population, mm. even though in the first century it was a totally Jewish movement. Completely Jewish. What was? Uh, faith in Yeshua, Jesus. Okay. It was only a Jewish movement. Sure. And the Jews were having a very difficult time sharing their faith about Jesus with the Gentiles. Uh-huh. Because they were like, wait a second, this is our Messiah. And Yeshua was telling his disciples to go share it with the world. Of course. Be a light to the nations, mm -hmm. Isaiah 49, 6. Yes, but that was a very specific sect of Judaism that chose to right. believe in those people. Totally. So we're talking about a very specific sect that believed in that. If somebody stands up and proclaims themselves to be a certain person, right. um, then uh, it is true what you're saying that at the time, because it was predominantly you know in that area was was Jewish and that kind of thing. Of course, and and he was a Jew, right? Um, and I am not at any point. And by the way, this isn't a debate, right? We're just discussing this, of right? Um, I'm not at any point doubting that there you was can. the existence of, no, the, the, he existed and that a lot of people followed him and that his teachings are still taught today and uh, there's a lot of value to them. Um, but when the, specifically for me, the theological aspect of it, that's where I take issue with. Yeah. But not, again, with your belief of it, but more sure. so with uh, this idea that offering it to potentially people who are in similar low points as a method of mm -hmm. of, uh, of getting out of that. Because I think as a, what can happen in that situation that people feel like you say that it's their only option and then they feel swept up in that and often uh, continue down that path towards uh, belief systems, which I don't agree with. Right. But that can happen, of course. Of course. But doesn't make it wrong. Doesn't make it wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, I have a question yeah, for you. Yeah. So as a, as a Jewish man, yes. you know, yourself. Sure. Do you practice halakha? Do you practice religious no. Judaism? No, I do not. Okay. So you've, so Jesus for you is a person. Yeah. Yes. Just a person. Yes. And then religious Judaism for you is also. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. For, for me, yeah. For me, I've taken it and, and made it to um, what I personally believe in and what I think is, is, is worth um, living my life by. Right, you know? right, right. So as, as Jewish believers mm. in Jesus or mm. Christians. Sure. We know, or at least I know, yeah. 
I can't convince anybody. Yes. And I can't force anybody. Mm. And I can't make anybody believe what I believe. You know how we, we present the things that we worship to people. Mm. Everybody does that. Sure. You know, if you're if you're an artist, you want to present your singing to someone. Yeah. You know, if you're a if you're a painter, you want to present your art to someone. Mm. If you're a believer, you want to present your belief because you feel like it can enhance or make somebody's life better. Okay, sure. Not just for this life, but in the terms of the theological and spiritual aspects well, in, the, in the life hereafter as well. That's interesting yeah. what you're saying because I am also an artist. I work in like as in like I, I make films and I, I make things and stuff. And when I'm showing it these things to people i'm not doing that with the benefit of making some with with the uh with the forethought of trying to make someone's life better okay i'm trying to make them think i'm trying to make them potentially entertained yeah but i don't go into it's it's not my job as the artist to show somebody something and say i want you to walk away from this feeling a certain way it's my job i feel at least yeah. to put that out into the world and if they want to take it then they can and i right. think we agree in that in totally that way. agree yeah, on that yeah. and we and as as believer mm. I can say that it's that I can't do that to you. I okay. Can't, I can't make you feel a certain way. Yes. Maybe I can try to influence you in a certain way. Sure. But even that word, you know, yeah. there's, I, there's, a little, there's a little bit of problem with that. That's word, okay. Right? It's okay. Yeah, yeah. We can try to maybe, you know, steer you in a direction. Mm -hmm. Have you thinking about something you may not have thought before? Okay. Because I we, mean, that's for sure. Because and I, we believe that yeah. that that if, if it's your, your eternity at stake mm, mm, mm. and that we feel that, that there's a way to be completely forgiven, yeah. to have eternal life with God, we want to present that. But see, this is when you lose me a little bit. That's you know? okay. And uh, I think there's, a, there's a, an extreme value to understanding all sides. I mean, we talk politics, yeah. you know, everything to understand all sides of uh, a conversation. Right. And it's the same with this, you know? I didn't really even know that like you guys really existed up until we started having this conversation. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, I've heard of it, but it's right. it's nice to chat, and I think that totally. the fact that we can have this polite conversation about it is amazing. Right. Um, and all I would like ask, all I would request, yeah. is that uh, when you have this polite conversation, um, that it is it is communicated with this idea of giving the facts yeah. and the understanding, right. uh, and then letting someone make their own decision Absolutely. based on that. Yeah, yeah. That's my that's my yeah. only. That's so my what only I was going to say yeah, about yeah. that was that. It's not our job to convince. Yes. I can't convince you. Yes. I can't change your mind. Yeah. But in the back of your mind, I would love are you to. hoping? I would love for you to come to faith in See, Jesus. But even, Absolutely but love But even that. that to me yeah. feels there is something in that that right. feels yeah, And strange. you would love yeah. for me not to do that. No, that's not true at all. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't love for you to do it for anything. I... Like, like this the, is me being me. Yeah, right. This is me doing me. That's you expressing yourself. Right? Absolutely, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And so, and so, I know that it's the spirit of God that changes the heart of a human being. Okay. And in, and in you know that categorically. <clears throat> absolutely. How can one know that? Because when you experience the miracle of of, of what God has done in your heart mm. in your life, when you go through a miracle of Him changing you into someone that you couldn't change yourself. Yes. You realize that there's something else happening outside of me that's. that's but you. Not but so okay, okay, okay. That's that's interesting. And then. When you, if you go into scripture and you mm. read it, and and it's and, and your experience is yeah. backed up by scripture, and then your study of scripture reinforces mm. more and more instead. Because I, I, I. But can I take the first part? Absolutely. You for a second. Yeah. So, if somebody is able to heal themselves through ways that aren't theological, yeah. In your mind, is that just God in a different sense? A miracle, really. What I was talking about is something that happens to you. Mm without you either expecting it or trying for it to happen. Mm. I was not expecting this to happen, and yes. I wasn't trying for this to happen, yeah. yet this happened to me, turned me into a completely human, different human being, which mm. is why I was willing to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, Yes. and investigate it for myself, okay. and go out and talk to people about it. But to it. somebody that that hasn't happened to, right. are you saying that that's because they haven't yet been saved or because they haven't experienced those miracles yet? What, yeah. Like, what's your philosophy to somebody that, ha that hasn't happened? And not everybody's to going to, ha to have that experience. Okay, yeah. but if but if ultimately Jesus does want, or if, if God does want people to follow this, this way, yeah. then why is everybody not experiencing these same miracles? Ah, because, yeah, that's a great point. Mm. Because it, it, it goes back to the human heart. You have great questions, by the way. It goes Thank back you. to the human heart. Yeah. Because the human heart is hard and we want control over our lives. So we mm. have free will mm -hmm. to choose to be open to being led mm. or to be wanting to have complete control over our own lives. But life. you're conflating the heart to an entity. Uh -huh. You're saying that uh, what I'm saying is they're separate. I'm saying that the heart is the is the free will, is the human. Yes. And if some if and 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 you're saying that they're interrelated, is that correct? No, is that's that, what no? I was. I was saying yeah, what you just said. Okay. Yeah. So we have our human heart. Yes. And we like to make our own decisions and be in control. Yes. And God wants somebody that's humble. Yes. Yes. And so those that say may want a spiritual life yet mm. still want to say that I do everything myself, mm. prideful, egoistic, 
um, they don't necessarily have those experiences yes because they're not necessarily open to the fact that something outside themselves exists or it could mm -hmm. have control or it could have a plan or it could have because we want our own well right but that so that's what I was trying to say before yeah. which is that God does have a like if there if there is this idea of a God yeah. and they have a plan that you were supposed to follow or work within yeah. Um, then in what way, then, then that's not separate, is it? The, the, the you, human Well, you heart. can separate yourself. Okay. So for instance, in my parents, mm. and they say, I want Jeff, I think it's best if you did this and yeah, this, yeah. And, you, and you were raised like this, and yeah. I said, no thanks, I'm gonna turn my back and I'm gonna go the other way. I separate mm. myself from my family. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, it's still within the plan, is what you're saying. Well, not necessarily. Okay. Like, we have free will to choose, Sure. you know. And yeah. the fact that God says knows all, doesn't mm. mean he forces us to do what he already knows will happen. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. So there's a sense of we have our free will, yet God already knows the beginning from, you know, the outcome from the beginning. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So, sorry, you know, this is going down a direction that I don't know if it's the way you want to go, <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't okay. matter. Sure, sure, sure. Because I don't, it's, it's not often that we engage in conversations like this. Yeah, I agree. Intellectual oh, person, thank I think you. it's really cool. So just so you know mm. that, that true faith in, in Jesus is not mm. forced, mm -hmm. it's not pushed, it's not, it's not forced conversions. Mm. Um, it's not, I want to make you feel like I feel. Mm. It's, I pray that you can have a similar experience mm. that opens your eyes to the understanding that God exists mm -hmm. and that he's revealed himself in a, in a person, mm. but not just a person, God in the flesh, mm. as an atonement yeah. and an ultimate act of love and sacrifice for us mm. so that we could be reconnected with him and have eternal life. Do you believe in, in, in a life hereafter? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know enough. I, yeah. I, I, I think that uh, it's a very, um, it's a nourishing belief to believe this. I think that, yeah. that that I have a lot of respect for people that can have wholehearted faith in an afterlife. Uh, but my, me personally, I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Thinking about it. Yeah. 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 Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. Yeah, great. Yeah, me too. And I'm happy that, you know, you were able to share your views with me yeah. and I'm with you and we could smile at each other. Absolutely. Can I have a hug? Sure, of course you can. You don't? Thanks, brother. No, anytime. I appreciate you. I appreciate you too.